What's going on guys? So in this video, we're gonna wrap up tearing down the Ufi 11S Robovac. So we pretty much tore this thing all the way down. And as I promised, when we got down to this part, I would show y'all how to remove the front wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this front wheel right here out. And there's no screws to remove. So it's a press fit, unfortunately, or maybe not. <laughs> Thought it was. No, it's a press fit. So you're gonna have to just get lucky and pry it off or beat it out, unfortunately. But that's not what this video is about anyway. Um, in this video, we're gonna be removing the right and left spinner motors. Um, that's really gonna bug me that they press fit that in like that because you can't replace that housing. So, um, if it breaks, you're pretty much gonna be prying on this thing, trying to get it out and hopefully not breaking it because this thing is in there. Let's see what happens when I break it. Well, it didn't break it. It actually popped out. There we go. So yep, it's just a little lock pin. You could pop it out like I was trying to do by punching it out. Um, wow, that thing's just in there. So, probably it hard. But let's go ahead and get this right and left spinner motor out. You have some Phillips head. There's one Phillips head on the back. Lift up this sensor bar and there's two more under that. One on the left, one in the middle, right here. So technically the right side. We've already removed all the wires when we removed the motherboard. So there's that. There's one. And we'll remove this one next. And move that sensor bar out your way. All right, guys, so that's how to remove the right and left spinner motors. And also, while you're here, you can remove the charging pads. Oops. That's two more Phillips heads each, and it's an entire assembly. I do like how this is replaceable. Um, you have a right one and a left one. So you can do that, and then it pops right out. You can replace those pretty handy to actually be able to replace considering most robots are like heat melted in so you're pretty much damaging the entire assembly when trying to replace those all right there's those here's your sensor bar all the sensors will pull right out and you just have your switch your two little sensors back here and the one up front which this one should should finagle out with a little bit of persuasion. There we go. That one's out. But thanks for watching these videos, guys. If you have any questions, comment below. I know this was a little different than the typical videos I do, but I figure, you know what, I'm taking it apart. Let's do it all in one go. And, uh, well, not in one go, but one series of videos. That way y'all could just refer back to each one, depending on the part. And I will label them accordingly to their order.